Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're once again taking a look at those lovable heroes in a half shell. Only this time we're going the more gritty route. We've got the original comic book Raphael released by Playmates in 2014. Now if you're not familiar with the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they actually first appeared in a comic book by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird back in May of 1984. And this particular Raphael figure is designed to look like that figure appeared in the original Ninja Turtle comic book series. So he's a bit more simplistic in design, but he's also a bit more terrapin looking and he doesn't have as defined musculature on the figure. And there's some hatching work and we'll get into more of that with the sculpting and detail on this figure. But let's go ahead and take a look at that packaging. As you come down the front of the box, you are gonna notice that there is an overall purple deco to this box, different from what we've seen with the other Ninja Turtle figures. You do have the logo for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then you have a blister bubble that does house the Raphael figure inside, as well as his accessories. And then at the bottom, it does say Original Comic Book Raphael, Ninja Master of the Double Fisted Size. Flipping this package around now, as you come down the back of the box, you once again have that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. You've got a bio for this particular version of Raphael. Go ahead and pause now to read that. And then you have a complete lineup of all the other figures currently available in this wave. Alright guys, well that's the packaging. Let's say we get this Raphael out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright toy fans, here we have comic book Raphael out of the box, and overall, this figure seems pretty faithful to his comic book counterpart. As we start and take a look at the sculpting here, you're going to see that he does have his bandana there around his eyes. It is made out of red plastic. And there's some hatching sort of sculpting work here in the head. It's very reminiscent of the sort of line work that you saw with the comic. That continues down the figure here, as you see it on his shell and on his arms. He's got sculpted uh, elbow pads and wrist pan pads, a uh, sculpted belt here. And then we come down, he's got sculpted knee pads and more of that uh, line work that's familiar to the comic. And then flipping the figure around, you'll see here that he's got some more uh, sculpt work on the back of his shell here, even lots of different details here on the shell. Now the paint overall is actually pretty flat. You got the one solid color for the torso, the one solid color on the back shell, the belt and wrist pads and knee pads are all the same paint. And then he's got his flesh tone, which is the exact same color all, all over the figure. There's no sort of paint variations or highlighting or anything like that, but that's also not uncommon with Playmates toys. Comic Book Raphael comes with all the accessories that you see here. The first one I wanna highlight is this trading card that Raphael has that does feature um, artwork from the original Ninja Turtle comic. And you do have Raphael on the front there fighting some foot soldiers. And then on the back of this card, it does have the Ninja Turtle logo, and it has a lineup of all the other turtles from the same era of the Ninja Turtles comic book stories. So that was pretty cool inclusion to have with this figure. The other thing that Raphael has are these pair of twin size. And what is what it can only be assumed to be an error from the manufacturer. These size were actually packaged in a way that did not warp them while they sat on store shelves. So I actually have a pair of Ninja Turtle Raphael size that are not warped for this modern era of figure, which I'm really, really happy with. But I'm not going to get used to it either. And I am being a little facetious, guys, but come on, if they could pack these size this way, why can't they do the other Raphael figures the same way? But they are the exact same sculpt, and they have this sort of cross line work here on the handle, and then they're just a flat or grayish silver plastic, and they fit easily into Raphael's hand. You can just plug him in like this, and he's ready to make his point clear. Moving on to articulation, you can see that this Raphael figure does have a head on a ball joint, and he can look up that far and down that far, and his head does spin all the way around. It's a little tight because he's brand new. He's got a shoulder here that'll spin all the way around, as well as bending out from the body up, up only about that far. He does have a single jointed elbow that bends down that far and back that far and does rotate all the way around. And there is no wrist articulation, which is a big party foul on this figure. And then he has the same articulation on the other side. Uh, like all the rest of the turtles, there's no waist uh, swivel or any sort of ab crunch, but he does have a leg joint that'll bend forward that far and bend back only about that far. Does bend out from the body about that far, so nice range there. He's got a single jointed knee that does bend down that far, bend forward that far, and he does rotate 360 degrees at the knee. And that completes the articulation for this turtle figure. Height-wise, we can see that this Raphael does come in at right around four and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here we have original comic book Raphael compared to the movie Raphael figure from 2014's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Here he is compared to the Battle Show Raphael from the 2012 Ninja Turtle cartoon. Here he is compared to the Raphael from the 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon series. And just for fun, here's more unchecked aggression than you can shake a sigh at. And finally, here he is compared to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. You know, bub, some people say I'm cool but a brute. Give me a break. All 
Alright, Toy fans, well that's my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book series Raphael figure released by Playmates in 2014. And overall, I'm a bit iffy on this figure. Um, I really like that Playmates has given us a chance to get the first appearance comic book accurate Ninja Turtle figures, both Raphael and all of his brothers. But this figure is missing some wrist articulation, he doesn't have weapon storage, and the paint's just a little bit flat on the guy, and I wish they would have made some improvements in that respect. But if you're not able to track down the original first appearance turtle figures released by NECA about 10 years ago or more, then this is definitely a good substitute just so you can have all the different incarnations of the Ninja Turtles available in your collection. That's why I picked them up. Well, that's my review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit me up on Twitter at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.